subscribe to techno starters and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload new videos so guys welcome to the channel and you already know what this video is about i'm trying to make this video as short as possible so let's start the process of installing the rom without wasting any time so i'm already assuming that you have the twrp recovery installed and you have the minimal adb and fastboot drivers installed on your pc if you are new to installing custom roms check out my other videos and the links to the twrp and adb will be in the description area so let's begin with clicking on the cmd here option in minimal adb and fastboot folder after that press the volume down and the power button of your phone to boot your phone into fastboot and the next step is to connect your phone and the pc using the usb cable and now type fastboot space boot space make sure you type two spaces one is after fastboot and the other one is after boot now drag this twrp file and drop it in the cmd window and hit enter as you can see now the phone is booting into the twrp recovery so once the twrp opens we have to format the phone completely so click on wipe format data type yes tick go back swipe to factory reset go back advanced wipe select everything here swipe to wipe we have to format both of the slots so go back go back again click on reboot my current slot was b so my b slot is clear now and now i have to wipe the slot a so click on slot a go back every time you change the slot you have to click on the boot loader option and <clears throat> you have to boot the twrp recovery again by typing the same command fast boot space boot space now drag and drop the twrp here make sure that after changing slot you boot into boot loader and then into twrp recovery again only then the slot will be changed successfully if you don't do that it will just show that the slot is changed but in reality it will be the same slot so let's do the same thing and wipe this this slot completely wipe it completely format data factory reset select everything and wipe so now both slots are clean now go to advanced click on adb side load select both swipe so now carefully type adb space side load space again there are two spaces one after adb and one after side load drag and drop the rom file here and hit enter and now the installation of the rom will start this video is speeded up to save your time if you like my efforts make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel it will help me a lot so now you can see the rom is installing slot a and slot b are just like the local disk c and local disk d on your pc now note one thing if your current slot was a the rom will install on the opposite slot so if your current slot was a the rom will install on the slot b and if your current slot was b the rom will install on the opposite slot a my current slot was a which means i will have to change the slot b because the rom installed on the opposite slot b so change the slot to the opposite slot and reboot the system Google Play Store and the other Google apps come built in in the ROM so you do not need to install them separately. So that's it we have officially installed the ROM. The ROM is really good. I have been using it from the past week so I can say it's really good ROM. You can sure go for it. I did not find any bug from the past week. Camera 2 API is enabled on this ROM which means that you can use Google camera and stuff like that. along with that you can install google ar for apk and then you can use apps like google ar sticker just a line and google mazer apk so i just wanted to make the video tutorial under 5 minutes if you have any suggestions for me please type them in the comment section below